Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, amidst the turmoil and despair that has plagued Palestinians for generations since the Nakba in 1948, a flicker of hope remains resilient. The people of Gaza, enduring the daily struggle of survival amidst the devastation of ongoing genocide, deserve more than our sympathy. They deserve our active support, and especially more for us as Muslims this coming Eid al Adha. A grander celebration by Muslims around the world for man's triumph over evil and complete obedience to God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the annals of history and faith, few stories are as profound and resonant as the trial of Prophet Abraham, also known as Ibrahim in the Holy Quran, peace be upon him. Faced with unimaginable command to sacrifice his beloved firstborn son, despite being childless for numerous years, Abraham's unwavering faith and obedience have been immortalized as a testament to ultimate sacrifice and trust in divine wisdom. Today, as we witness the harrowing events unfolding in Gaza, this ancient narrative finds a poignant parallel to our contemporary world. The story of Abraham is one of deep spiritual significance. Commanded by God to sacrifice his son, Abraham's heart must have been torn between his love for his child and his devotion to his Creator. Yet, his readiness to comply only to be mercifully spared by divine intervention teaches us about faith, submission, and the profound cost of sacrifice. In Gaza, we see a modern reflection of this ancient sacrifice, though without the divine reprieve that Abraham received. The people of Gaza are enduring an unimaginable ordeal. Innocent lives, the majority of whom are women and children, are being sacrificed daily amidst the relentless waves of violence and destruction wrought by the ongoing genocide and ethnic cleansing by the State of Israel. Each martyr in Gaza represents a family torn apart, homes in smithereens and reduced to rubble, dreams and lives shattered, and a future stolen too soon. The parallels between Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son and the current plight of the people of Gaza are striking and heartbreaking. Both involve profound loss and the surrendering of what's most precious for Abraham, the intended sacrifice was a test of faith and devotion, culminating in divine mercy. For the people of Gaza, the sacrifice is not by choice, but is imposed by the brutality, oppression and savagery of the Jahannamian Zionist Israeli occupation force. Among many shameless and despicable acts of genocide used by them, starvation was employed as a weapon against innocent lives in Gaza. The murdering of humanitarian aid workers and the blatant disregard of international law. Yet, just as Abraham's story is one of hope and ultimate mercy, so too can the plight of Gaza inspire a call to action and compassion. In recognizing the depth of their suffering, we are reminded of our shared humanity and the urgent need to stand in solidarity with those who suffer unjustly. The narrative of Abraham teaches us that no sacrifice should be in vain and every act of suffering should invoke a response of mercy and justice from the world. This is why I am deeply honoured to partner with a trusted organisation such as Global Ehsan Relief, a collaboration dedicated to gathering donations for korban meat to provide food for the people of Gaza who are Muslims and also people of other faiths such as Jews and Christians in the time of greatest need. Yet amid this chaos, oppression and injustice, the spirit of the Palestinian people remains unbroken. Their faith, strength and resilience are a testament to the human spirit's capacity to trust in God and endure and persevere, even in the darkest of times. However, resilience alone cannot end hunger or heal the wounds of war. By partnering with Global Ehsan Relief to provide korban meat to the people of Gaza, I aim to bring a measure of solace and sustenance to those who have lost so much. This act of giving is an affirmation that their sacrifices are seen, their suffering is acknowledged, and their lives are valued. It is a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming adversity, compassion and humanity can prevail. The act of korban or the sacrifice of an animal to provide meat for the needy is a profound tradition in Islam, symbolizing selflessness and generosity. This year, 
My goal is to ensure that the people of Gaza receive this vital sustenance during Idul Adha. For many, this may be the only source of nourishment for the body they receive for months. It is more than just meat. It is a lifeline, a reminder that they are not forgotten by the global community, especially us, real people with a heart. Just one cow is sufficient to feed between 800 to 1,000 children. However, donations of any amount are also accepted as the collective contribution from everyone will be used to purchase the meat. Apart from my strive online to raise awareness about the suffering and oppression of Palestinians in partnering with Global Essan Relief, I am committing to mobilizing resources and raising awareness about the dire conditions in Gaza. Every donation counts and every bit of support brings us closer to elevating the suffering of those caught in this genocide they did not choose. By providing korban meat, we are not just addressing immediate hunger, we are restoring a sense of dignity and hope to the families who have lost so much. To those watching this right now, I urge you to join me in this noble cause. Your generosity can light up lives plunged into darkness. Your compassion can mend hearts broken by loss. Together, we can transform despair into hope, one korban at a time. Even if humanitarian aid is prevented from entering Gaza, Allah still considers the act of charity done based on our intentions. Make your intentions today and donate generously. May Allah Azawajal accept our noble and pure intentions to feed our brothers and sisters in humanity this Eidu Dadha and to celebrate such a joyous occasion with food at their table. As we reflect on Abraham's trial, let us also reflect on our role in elevating the suffering of others. The people of Gaza need more than our sympathy. They need our tangible support and our unwavering solidarity. Through our collective efforts, we can provide not only food, but also a message of hope and humanity. Let us stand with Gaza, not just in words, but in actions that echo the true essence of humanity. As we move forward, let us remember that our shared humanity binds us together more than any borders or politics can divide us. Let us be the beacon of hope that Gaza needs, showing them that even in the midst of a genocide, they are not alone. In honouring the memory of Abraham's trial, let us also honour the resilience and dignity of Palestinians. Let our actions be guided by the same spirit of faith, sacrifice and compassion that Abraham, peace be upon him, exemplified. Together, we can make a difference ensuring that the sacrifices of today pave the way for a future of peace and justice. Through Global Essence Relief, we can make a real lasting impact. Together, we can help heal a wounded world, one act of kindness at a time. As Abu Huraira radiallahu an reported the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, peace and blessings be upon him, once said, Charity does not decrease wealth. No one forgives another except that Allah increases his honour. And no one humbles himself for the sake of Allah except that Allah raises his status. Sahih Muslim 2588, Book 45, Hadith 90. May your charitable deeds be a continuous flow of blessings to others and good deeds accumulated even after you are called home to your Creator. Ameen. Join me in this mission of mercy. Click on the link to donate. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shah Harold. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fadaus.Shah. Remember to share this video so that you may also benefit from just sharing because you can earn the rewards for sharing as well. Stand with Reza, stand with humanity and free Palestine.